at 6, News 5 is digging into the Trump administration's move to push out another initiative established by the Obama administration involving how educational institutions handle allegations of sexual violence on campus. It's a policy change proposal that could affect how several local campuses finish their open investigations. The president's secretary of education, Betsy DeVos, made the announcement this afternoon saying the guidelines established in 2011 have failed to protect students. DeVos says the policy has to balance the rights of victims and the accused and that too many cases involve students and facu faculty simply speaking their minds or teaching their classes. Survivors aren't well served when they are re-traumatized with appeal after appeal because the failed system failed the accused and no student should be forced to sue their way to due process. And as we said, this is a move that will have an impact on many local institutions. News 5's Homa Bash has been looking into this for us. So, Homa, what did you find out? Tanita and Rob, we found a dozen open Title IX complaints at campuses across Northeast Ohio, colleges, and K-12 schools. We don't know specifically what the Education Secretary wants to change policy-wise, but she did make it clear that she wants public input. Ten colleges and universities in Ohio have open investigations into sexual violence cases by the U.S. Department of Education. Nineteen total cases. That includes local schools like Cleveland State, the University of Akron, and John Carroll University. One investigation dates back to 2014. Some opened as recently as summer 2017. According to the Department of Education, there are also three local K-12 districts with pending cases as well. The Cleveland Metropolitan School District, North Olmsted, and Berea. Alex Leslie is the Senior Education Services Director for the Cleveland Rape Crisis Center. He says the investigations are meant to examine the process by which the school handled the cases. So it doesn't necessarily mean that something happened wrong, but it means that somebody walked away from that process feeling frustrated. Now the Department of Education wants to look at how they're investigating these Title IX claims. Still, it's not clear if any major changes are coming. Campuses, K-12 institutions, lots of institutions still have a ways to go in terms of making reporting accessible and comfortable for people. The simple fact is these cases are really difficult. They're emotional. And sometimes people don't come forward right away. And it makes it so it's not neat and tidy. And we reached out to all of the local schools and colleges on the Department of Ed list. Those statements are up on our website. Most responded saying they can't comment on open investigations, but added that they are working closely with the Office of Civil Rights on the complaints filed. That office has been known to have a backlog of cases. That's one of the reasons why the Trump administration wants to narrow the scope of the investigations. And to be clear, these complaints can be about cases of sexual harassment or sexual assault. I'm Homa Bash for News 5.